Jemtrushina Sibiri, the Pearl of Siberia. This is the name of the Batland Stadium of Tumen, the place where all will be decided in the fight for the BMW IBU World Cup Crystal Globes. After 8 stages and 19 individual competitions, both the overall trophies are still undecided and a bunch of disciplines wants too. Therefore, an exciting long weekend of finals is bound to keep us thrilled until the last must starts of the season. The men's one has been marked by the dear kid at the top between Matan Foucault and Johannes Nispe, and the two are still fighting for most of the ranking tables. After sharing the individual globe, the two are looking to overtake each other in all the others. Burr has a good 31 point margin in the sprint, but the situation reverses in the pursuit, where Foucault leads by 26. Despite that, neither can afford a false step, as the gap between them in the overall is of 51 points, with 180 up for grab. So it could all go down to the final must start if Bo can gain on this rival, who however is pretty much secure of the discipline globe thanks to 54 points lead. That said, the Norwegian will give his best and on an unprecedented track he feels like he can express himself at best. It's a very hard track, uh, you get these uh, uh, long uh, uphills uh, where you have to be really strong to keep up the speed so I think it will be uh, big gaps in the course times and uh, I think for the strongest men like Eberhard, Pfeiffer, me and Furkado would be maybe four of the favourites. But uh, we know that uh, it can be colder than it was today and uh, also more wind, we know it will be windy in the sprint so uh, yeah, it was a good feeling to the first training today and uh, we'll see what, if the wind keeps up uh, blowing at uh, the next races. I feel uh, uh, still motivated for uh, racing and I think that's important and uh, I am in the lead in the sprint uh, uh, World Cup so I will try to uh, maintain my position there and just do my best during the weekend. It's it's my aim and I know Martha will do the same so uh, I just hope for fair competitions and uh, at the best we'll win in the end. The women's battle for the overall feels even more open and if Anastasia Kuzmina is coming as the favourite, both Kaisa Makarani and Daria Domracheva could close the gap and make a final twist to an unpredictable plot of the season. The Spring Club is pretty much a lock for the Slovak, who was born in Tumen. However, the Pursuit Cup is still open for a surprise if Dorotea Vira can exploit a potential bad day from Kuzmina. The Sunday Master will also design the owner of the Discipline Globe as Makarainen and Dalmaya are tied in the lead and potentially even the big one will be still undecided. Uh, I expect uh, good races uh, when I will go to the start and will try to compete and do my best. So I don't think about any results and uh, uh, it's to the end of the season it's not so much uh, energy all athletes have and so I prefer to don't use it for these minds and thinking <laughs> maybe it's not so easy snow here for the boxers uh, because it's some specific that during the cold winter snow getting re really cold and dry and so it's not uh, that usual we can uh, find such snow in Europe where we have most of uh, World Cups. You could expect also a lot of spectators here. Uh, I know how people like biathlon in this region. So, ah, only good things I can say about now. The program starts on Thursday with the men's sprint and there are plenty of reasons to be excited from the start to the last minute of this finals.